love you, please don't keep my score. I want to clarify the triple six sub eighty system. I may have chosen the wrong word. It's more of a philosophy than a system. It's a philosophy that says, "Hey, I'm not perfect, but I jam with what I got. I miss greens, I chop and hack, but I never give up. I forgive myself and I let go." I focus on the next shot and setting up an easier shot after that. It's about being happy with who we are and what we can do. It's about improving what we can do and eliminating what we can't. But to really go low, we do need some more processes. While the triple six focuses on the process of course management and playing to our strengths, with the emphasis on the short game, we need something extra to get us into the level par range. We need a mental game, and we need tricks to keep us focused and committed to the shots we know how to play. Patrick De Spain, a subscriber, turned me onto a book called Every Shot Must Have a Purpose. Now. I hate generic swing mechanic advice without the pro actually seeing your swing. This book focuses on the mental aspect of the game. I read the first few chapters of the book, a game changer in every sense of the word. I wanted a 72 today, and I wanted 18 straight pars. Yes, it's an outcome-based goal, but the desire for an outcome won't allow me to or prevent me from achieving it. I needed a process. It's all in that magic book I mentioned earlier. With the lofty goal in mind, after reading the book, here's how I plan to achieve it. I set little goals that were process-based, and I'm going to show you how they work. Use the think and play boxes and the decision line. Focus on the shot in front of me only. Only hit when I am 100% committed to the shot. Go on mental vacations between shots. Only play shots I know how to hit. Manage the course to put myself in the best positions off the tee and around the greens. React positively or neutrally to a shot, but never negatively. Now these are very difficult to achieve first time out, so we may falter along the way. Golf is a journey, not a destination. Front pin. Unsure of my shot shape. Aim at the pin. See what happens. It will probably be a draw. No go zone is bunker right. I'm aiming over the bunker left, expecting a fade. This isn't really a hole for a driver, so I wasn't committed to the shot. This is a forward or hybrid hole, especially because the green is so flat with no danger around it that missing the green with the longer approach is fine. I forgot about the shocking drive and was grateful the ball was in play. Just focus on the shot and take dead aim at the pin, expecting a small draw off the lie. There's lots of space left. The wind should hold it up enough to leave it pin high. If it does actually go long, the chip is easy anyway. My tendency is to say, "You never miss these," but I change that to, "You always drain these babies." Stick it in. Change the negative words into positive ones. Over that bunker is easy from this tee with my hybrid. It's a guarantee. Straight shot clears it easily, and the expected draw will be in the fairway to the left of it. I repeat. Straight shot, good. Intended shot shape, great. Very important. Always aim for the miss. Wedges have been drawing, so I aim at the pin to the right of the green, so a draw lands center of the green. A lucky straight shot stops just past the pin. Short is bogey country.
across the hall. Man. He used to have a ball. This is your ball, man. So his ball's here. He used to mark it like this. He used to go. I want to draw. The easiest club to hit a sweeping draw with is my forward. Visualize, visualize, visualize. See it happening in full detail. Left is dead man's land. No treasure buried there, I've looked. Raised green into the breeze. Add one more, but swing easy because the green slopes from back to front. A chip from over the green will be dead. I want to draw off the right edge, but a straight shot leaves me pin high with a side slope chip. I won't attempt to draw because I'm only hitting shots I know how to hit. Driver set at neutral means I'm going to fade it. Maybe I can hit it straight. Hmm. I should have hit a hybrid or four wood because I can draw them. They're my go-to clubs off the tee and I can't hit the green in two here anyway. They would have opened up the whole left side of the fairway. The breeze is always into us on this hole and to clear the bunker would need a 300 carry. Swallow the ego and lay it up and hit your second from the fairway. I'm in an old hole left by a burrowing animal. I can be the victim or I can be the champion. I can complain about my bad luck or just get on with it. I can get enough on the ball, but can I clear the trees with the 6 iron? No. I need a 7 iron. A little draw off this lie over the trees and try get it to the 100 yard marker. Shot difficulty, 8 out of 10. The putt is on a side slope. It's almost going to come in from 90 degrees on the right edge. Pin is back right, but I'm looking middle of the green. A fade into the wind here will leave me short, and if I hit too much shape, I'm in that bunker short right. Sense of the green with a draw through the wind, and I'm laughing. I'm not being suckered into this pin position. Standards, girlfriend. <laughs> 